Welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about the regulatory compliance and how we can assess the organization risks and mitigate them in a timely manner. In this video, we'll be also looking at few example risks and try to mitigate them. And in the end, we'll be also saying how to download the compliance and audit reports. So saying that, let's jump into the video. So initially, we have to go to the Azure Defender. So if you go back to home, it's uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud. This is what I was talking about. So you can directly click here, like you, if you are using it regularly, like it will be start and you can see directly uh, on your home page, or you can directly search here or the other method is you can go to the all services and uh, under security. So there you go under security, you can see there is a Microsoft Defender for cloud. So you can also click from here. So based on your preference, you can go ahead. So now, since we are talking about the regulatory compliance, you can see in the cloud security, the second column, which is uh, regulatory compliance. So you can click that. So let's talk about the definition of uh, the regulatory compliance uh, from the docs. So according to the docs, the Microsoft Defender for Cloud helps streamline the process for meeting regulatory compliance requ requirements. So using the regulatory compliance uh, dashboard and Defender for the Cloud, continuously assess your uh, hybrid cloud environment to analyze, uh, to analyze uh, the risk factors associated uh, to that controls and best practices and standards that you have applied to your uh, subscription. So the dashboard reflects the status of your compliance with these standards that you're seeing, which is Azure uh, security benchmark for uh, my uh, Azure platform. However, based on the uh, it varies from organization to organization, the compliance uh, that they have implemented in their organization. So apart from that, uh, when you enable the Defender for Cloud on Azure uh, subscription, the Azure Security Benchmark is automatically assigned to that subscription that you're seeing right now here, which is uh, Benchmark version 3. So the widely uh, respected benchmark belts on uh, controls from uh, Center for Internet Security CIS as well as NIST, which is uh, a National Institute of Standards and Technology, which are uh, focused on cloud-centric uh, security. Mentioning that, let's go ahead and uh, see what we have uh, in this regulatory compliance. So you can see under uh, this one, you can also read this which uh, gives more information about uh, what Azure uh, Security Benchmark is. So under each uh, applicable compliance uh, controls is a set of assessments run by the Defender for Cloud that is associated with the control. So if they are all green, it means that the assessments are currently passing. This does not uh, ensure that you are fully compliant with uh, that control. Furthermore, not all controls uh, for any particular regulation are covered by Defender uh, for Cloud Assessments. And therefore, this report is only for the partial view of your overall compliance status. So if this is just a partial. So you have to implement some other additional uh, compliance just to be more secure because uh, the many attacks which are being performed. So we need to be secure enough. So we have to use more uh, additional compliance just to be uh, safe from our end. So let's uh, go down so you can see the green are the one which have been passed. So we can leave them and uh, there are other uh, red which need to be uh, mitigated. So we have network security, privilege taxes as well as incident response. So we have three uh, things which we need to solve. So you can see under uh, Azure security benchmark 40 out of 43. So what are the three? So these are the three that we are talking about. So, and one more thing, you can see all the supported compliance uh, here from the organization. So right now we don't have any other uh, uh, compliance since we only have uh, the benchmark. You can also, so you can also see the supported compliance here, uh, which varies from organization to organization. So right now we don't have any additional standards but you can also see uh, like SOC, AWS CIS or uh, PCI DSS. So based on that, you can also see here, but uh, since we are not implementing them or we don't have that, but uh, it varies from organization to organization. So, and one more thing, let's see the one, let's go ahead with the incident response. 
so you can you can see right which uh, we can see all the passing as well as failing assessments so we have to uh, look into the failing which is the red mark so and the red mark you can see there are few other controls which have already been solved which is ir3 ir4 and ir5 so basically these are the controls so which is uh, related to the incident response so these uh, have been mitigated and uh, are closed whereas uh, this one need to be uh, there should be some action which need to be performed so you can also see some gray here right so these controls are grayed out which uh, mean that uh, they don't have any definitive for cloud assessment uh, associated with them so that is the reason um, they have been grayed out so let's check the first one which is uh, preparation setup incident notification so which is related to my subscription here so let's click that there you go so you can see the severity so severity is very low so that's good so you can see the remediation steps from the different for cloud environment settings select the relevant subscription and uh, in the email notification select the recipients and uh, notification types so we have to include uh, the primary person let's say there is some incident and uh, the microsoft uh, need to contact some person in our organization so that contact should be mentioned uh, in our portal so that they can directly contact us and uh, immediate actions can be taken so that is what it is so you can also read here this to ensure that relevant people in your organization are notified when uh, there is a potential security breach in uh, one of your uh, subscriptions set a security contact to receive the email notifications from the different different cloud so that is what uh, they have mentioned so let's uh, let's check what it is environmental settings let's go to the defender environmental settings and uh, let's select our subscription and email notifications so if you check email notifications so you see additional email separate by comma so there is only one so i'm the only one now who is responsible for this but usually the roles should be segregated just to be that uh, they have their own responsibilities so actions can be performed very quickly so i have to mention few you can see select the recipient notification type and save so this is what uh, the operations that we have to perform so you can also select a uh, medium low based on uh, your requirements but usually i'll be going ahead with the high and you can directly add a few uh, email ids and uh, you can just click save or you can click the other people as well so the people who are relevant to these particular roles will be notified so that is what it is so here you can also see the control details if you click that you can see the security principle leisure uh, guidance and implementation and additional context so ensure that the security alerts and incident notifications from the cloud provider platform and your environment can be received by correct contact uh, uh, in your incident uh, response organization so i should guide and set up a security incident contact information in microsoft defender for cloud so this contact information is used to microsoft to contact uh, you if microsoft security response team uh, center discovers that you have uh, your data has been accessed uh, by an unlawful or unauthorized party you will also be opted to customize uh, incident alert and notifications in a different azure surface based on the incident response needs so you, you can also explore more about it so this is how you can uh, mitigate it so you just need to add a few contacts and that will be done and uh, you can uh, mitigate this so apart from that uh, so you can also download the reports so on the top you can see there is a section called download reports you can click download and uh, you can see we have uh, azure security benchmark for us so we can just click and uh, select appropriate format it may be the pdf or csv so you can click pdf and download so you will be getting a document uh, related to your uh, compliance and apart from that you can also download the audit reports so you can see here 
a section called audit and we have uh, various audit reports uh, us government isopi uh, pci soc and industry and regional and we trust so based on that you can also download this one so if you see the benchmark you'll be getting a proper documentation of uh, all the security status of your uh, benchmark so that is how you can uh, uh, perform the analysis of your uh, compliance and uh, make it proper so that uh, the risks are low so that's it for now so i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you want to subscribe to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and uh, please share the video thanks everyone